guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog i am starting out this video a little bit later in the day i've already filmed been doing some work so it's been a nice and productive day but i thought it would be fun to vlog a little bit over the next few days as well because we are soon approaching the weekend and the weekends are always nice and relaxing and we usually do some more fun things than we do during the week i've also just gotten in some new jewelry items i'm really excited about so i wanted to share those with you guys and try them all on so i think we'll start with that and then i'll show you guys a little bit of what we get up to over the next few days so here is a little overview of the new jewelry items that I got. Starting over here, I got two necklaces. I actually have a third one as well, which is the one that I'm wearing today. So I'll make sure to show that one to you guys as well. But starting with this one, this is so cool. I love the style of this. It has this beautiful vintage feel to it and this chain is so soft and smooth like against your skin it feels really nice it doesn't pinch your skin or anything like that and then i also have this one right here which i also love this has this beautiful clasp here and then it's got the Masoma logo right there. Really nice as well. A little bit more of a chunky type of chain. Really great for layering. And then I got two earrings. Well, this is kind of like an earring cuff. It looks like you've pierced your ear, but you really haven't. It's just this little ear cuff. It is so cute. And then I got these beautiful earrings. These are called the Baja earrings and I love the detail on these. I've just put on the hoops to show you guys what they look like and all of these items are from Misoma by the way in case I didn't mention that. They are one of my favorite jewelry brands ever. I've been buying from them for years. They're super well made and I just love their very casual and effortless designs but they're still so unique and I just love wearing their pieces so I'm really happy to have gotten some more jewelry from them. So those are the hoops and then I want to show you guys this little ear cuff so you just pop it in like that and it literally looks like you just got your ears pierced kind of adds a little bit more of like an edgy streetwear kind of style to your look and i like that it's just so quick and easy to change up your look just like that so i really like it it's super comfortable you don't feel it it's not like pinching in my ear or anything like that this is the third necklace that i got i will make sure to put the names of all of these pieces here on the screen and of course i'll also make sure to link everything down below but this is a really nice like very simple kind of chain necklace i love the durability of these like they're all very solid and they just feel really nice and high quality i'll take this off and show you guys the other things that i got i think my favorite necklace has to be this one right here and that is what it looks like on this is such a classic piece and i feel like it has this beautiful vintage feel to it kind of like a cartier necklace i think it's so beautiful and just so classic but at the same time it's very modern as well i feel like these kind of like vintage types of jewelry are so on trend but they're still nice and classic items that you can have for so many years i've been a fan of misoma jewelry for so many years i've just brought some of my other pieces to show you guys what they look like after years of wearing them and then the third necklace that i got is this one right here i think this is so cool it has this clasp here that you undo like so and that is also how you put it on you could wear the clasp in the back but i actually think it's really pretty so i will just put it kind of towards the front and i like that it's a little bit more chunky and adds a really nice texture to this kind of layered look and on that note you guys probably know that i love layering necklaces so i actually kind of like it just like this but i want to show you guys what it looks like with a more dainty kind of fine chain necklace this is one of their classics this is the interstellar drop choker and it's really nice and dainty and very I'm sure you guys have seen this in lots of my videos. I love to wear this necklace But there you can see like a nice layered look I think it's really fun to customize like two or three necklaces and put them together and you can get a completely different look And it's very personal to you. So I Love these necklaces so much and these new pieces that I got today These are from their autumn and winter collection for this year It's called let them create and this collection is based around a group of 
creatives and they really wanted to spark creativity within their community and Misoma are really on a mission to build a more creative and confident and collaborative world and they really want their community to feel all of these things when wearing their pieces and also during a time when we are being more conscious of the environment and our consumerism it's really nice to invest in some high quality jewelry staples that you can wear in lots of different ways especially if you like to layer I wear these types of necklaces with pretty much every outfit that I wear and they also have these beautiful new pendants that they just launched I've actually ordered one it hasn't arrived yet but I'm so excited to get it it's a gold padlock pendant I'll pop in a picture of it right here and that's something that you can add on to any of their necklaces and again it just kind of changes up the style without having to buy a completely different necklace I also love that Masoma focuses a lot on confidence especially in this new campaign so I wanted to talk a little bit about confidence and share with you guys what makes me feel confident so when I think about confidence the first thing that comes to mind for me is honoring yourself or honoring myself and all of our unique abilities and qualities and little quirks and things about us that just make us unique and also on top of that I love this quote by Ed Milet it's something that stuck with me for years and he says that confidence is keeping the promises that you make to yourself I think that is so beautiful because it again goes back to that sense of honoring ourselves and truly having a good relationship and a good kind of like friendship with ourselves. I also sometimes think of a little child or a little baby who enters this world who has never had anything negative said to them or hasn't like compared themselves to anyone else. They are a fully confident little human and it's only once they start growing up, they start again comparing themselves to others, you know, maybe they're just judged along the way for just being themselves and then it like starts to kind of tick on us but I think it's really important to stay conscious of that and know that pretty much everyone on this planet faces the same things but at the end of the day there is only one of you there's only one of me and that needs to be embraced completely and that is our strength so really honoring that and staying true to that I think that is where a lot of confidence at least for me, that's where it stems from. I also feel the older that I get, the more confident I am because the more life experience I have and the more I trust myself. And I think that's a huge part of confidence as well. And I would love to hear from you guys what makes you feel confident, what does confidence mean to you? I would love to know below in the comments. So yeah, those are my new jewelry items from Misoma. I will also make sure to leave all of my other pieces that I own from them that I've bought over the last few years. I'll make sure to have all of these items linked below in the description box for you guys. Now I'm gonna get myself ready for dinner. We've got reservations in a little bit. This is my outfit of the evening. I've got on these denim jeans from Mango, some white canvas sneakers, and then this really pretty top from Zara. I got this a few weeks ago, so I think they should still have it. So I'll make sure to have it linked for you guys.
it is Saturday today and we are on our way into the city right now. We've actually had the most incredible weather. It's been like 24, 25 degrees Celsius and it's been nice and like quite warm. Yeah, it's just a very nice and sunny day today. So we are heading to the city. I'm here with Mo. I'm also going to meet a friend of mine. We're going to go for a little walk in the park and then we might have some lunch. Okay, we are back from the city and I stopped at the grocery store on the way home. We were running pretty low on groceries, so I thought I would just quickly show you what I got. Starting over here, we've got some salad. Tomorrow I wanna make us some cauliflower kind of steaks. I've always wanted to try to make that, so we are gonna try that tomorrow. Then we've got some red bell peppers, tomatoes, broccoli, some avocados mushrooms we've got some fresh garlic cucumber zucchini all of these are really great for our breakfast we've also got some sunflower seeds i was all out of those some limes lemons we've got some thai curry paste here and also some coconut milk i also want to make us a curry one of these evenings so i got some coconut milk we've got some herbs here some parsley and cilantro then I've got some green tea, some organic tuna, some gluten-free bread, and some smoked wild salmon. So we are now gonna relax a little bit at home and then probably head back out later for dinner. I have not been in the biggest mood to cook lately because I think it's just because we've had so much going on and it's nice to just have someone else do it, honestly. Like yesterday when we went out for dinner, I was sitting there and I was just so enjoying myself. By the way, I'm wearing this super cute um, top today. I got this when we were in LA. I always forget the name of this brand. It's something Bandits, I believe, but it's this really cute gray uh, cutout top and then I've got on my new necklaces. I will see if I can find it online somewhere and have it linked for you guys down below. Okay, we are sitting down at dinner now. Our food has just arrived. We've got some avocado and hummus here. I've got the salmon with some tomatoes and the side of steamed spinach. Mo has got some pasta with, what is that? With Mushroom. artichoke and mushroom. And, and, and on, uh, olives. I'm definitely gonna try some of that. We've got some wine, yeah. Good morning guys, it is Sunday today. I am about to head out on a little walk. The weather is actually so nice, so I'm even wearing shorts. I think it's like 26 degrees today, so I wanna soak in <laughs> as much vitamin D as I can. And I've got on my white sneakers. These are from APL. My shorts are from Lululemon. And then I've got this kind of like vintage -y type of t-shirt. I believe this is from Nasty Gal. I will see if I can still find it. from my walk that was so nice. I literally just wanna soak up 
every bit of sunshine that's still left. I am actually really excited for fall. I love when it gets just a little bit crisper and cooler and it just feels like nice and refreshing. I want to talk about confidence. We talked about that earlier in this video and how I go through moments where I feel a lot more confident than others but I notice that I always feel more confident when I go with the main force like the force of my higher self what she is telling me to do like what my heart is telling me to do people might judge me or maybe won't understand me or it'll be a little bit embarrassing or whatever it is i feel inside that i'm doing the right thing and that brings me confidence from myself it's nice to get approval and love and praise from people but at the end of the day it really has to start from within because the more we attach ourselves to you know even the praise of other people the more we can be subject to their negativity as well but if we have a strong fundamental core and we know who we are and we like ourselves and we have our own backs even when we might not be getting all the love from everyone or we just need that like boost from ourselves we have those strong pillars inside and that gets built over time and that's what i was talking about experience and life experience and how you can begin to trust yourself more as you age because you do go through these types of experiences experiences naturally. So yeah, I just wanted to share that and of course I would love to hear from you on this topic as well below in the comments. I am now going to get in the shower. I have some work to do on my computer and I also have to order some lights. We have an electrician coming next week to fix something for the kitchen and they are also coming in two weeks but as the electrician is there we want them to install some lights so I have to get that sorted and then we are going to make dinner together so I will catch up with you guys once I get to that point I am now getting dinner ready and I'm gonna do the cauliflower steaks. I guess the cauliflower that I got was really small because I was only able to get one like really good slice. So these ones right here are looking a little smaller. Here I've just got like some pieces of cauliflower but I think it's still going to be really good. I've just made this little marinade that I'm going to put on top. Okay, now this is going to go in the oven for about 40 minutes. So to go with that, I want to try to make kind of like a chimichurri type of sauce. So here I've got some fresh cilantro, some fresh parsley. I'm going to chop this up really fine, put it in here. I also need some white wine vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil, some garlic, oregano, some red chili flakes, and salt and pepper. I will make sure to leave this recipe below in the description box, but I think this is gonna be really nice with the cauliflower, and I think you can put this on pretty much everything. I also have some salmon baking in the oven, so I'm also gonna use this as a little dressing for that. So this is my dinner tonight. We've got the cauliflower steaks. These actually look really, really good. Very excited to try these. I've got some baked salmon, and then here I did a little cucumber and tomato salad, and then some avocado, and I put that chimichurri sauce on top, and all of that is under some lettuce as well. 
So I'm going to enjoy this and actually wrap up this video right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one.